Hi Practicum, this is a quick movie about week three of your experiences out at Suez on Tuesday. Uh, for the three of you that are coming out, it's just going to be a project day. So I'm going to have you guys start out in the morning and Shana's going to teach you our cooperative compass lesson. And then uh, late morning and afternoon you can help Linda with some after school programming. Uh, so I'll have her contact you about the subjects for, or the content area that we're interested in developing for the after school programs. Uh, but it should be a nice day. On Wednesday, we will have the Highland School coming out. Uh, they're doing two trips this week, so they bring about 53 kids out Wednesday to Thursday, and then another, I think they said 52, Thursday to Friday. So you'll always be working with different students, um, but it is a residential program, and they are a school that's been coming for, I don't know, 30 years. They have a long history at Suez. Really fun to work with. Uh, their goal their school goal is for their students to gain knowledge of winter animals um, and to have positive outdoor environmental experiences uh, through these applied activities like the cooperative compass lesson and survival strategies and snowshoeing. Um, and interpersonal development is, is important for them too. So what do we see for the week? We're going to arrive on Wednesday morning at 9 in the morning. Um, I'm going to be the practicum director, but I'm asking you to submit your lesson preps to Shana. So please submit those into her Dropbox. And then you guys will be teaching a morning lesson. Uh, after a hot lunch, we'll have two afternoon lessons. And then in the evening, it's going to be uh, Amy that's driving out and meeting Jenica, who's leading the program, and Kate that's assisting. This is a sort of a special circumstance uh, for this program. We do both an evening program like Stars and Stories plus a campfire and night hike. So Jenica, Amy, and Kate, you should all plan to lead a night hike. Um, and go on D2L and get on the discussion board about some of the um, songs you're willing to be comfortable leading for the campfire. And Jenica will take care of the Stars and Stories program. Because of trying to get all those three in one evening, Jenica, you can focus on making it simple, short and simple, with Stars and Stories. We're going to kind of run through the same thing on Thursday. Um, Thursday morning, we will arrive out here at 7.15 a.m., so you might want to be in the car driving at 6.45 in the morning for those coming out that day. Um, we're still working with the same school, so we will run. They're going to get a morning lesson. You'll see trip one, and then they're going to do something called the Eco Jeopardy. Um, and at the same time, then, those who taught in the morning, you'll teach till 10.15, and then you'll come and meet us. Um, we'll talk about all this in the morning, but basically you'll come and meet the second group that we just moved in and teach them a lesson, and then you'll follow them through the rest of their day. So you'll get a hot lunch, and you'll teach two more programs. So for some of you, that's a total of four programs you'll teach that day, the same lesson. Uh, we'll do our wrap-up at four, and then the evening program that night, Marie is going to lead that with Jesse and Hope. So Hope will drive out and meet you guys for the evening, and just like the night before, Marie, you should plan on doing um, an abbreviated Stars and Stories program, maybe, you know, a half an hour long. And then you'll do a campfire, so campfire songs, and each of you will lead a night hike. And then on Friday, we will have Devin and Emily coming out. Again, we're meeting at 7.15 in the morning. Uh, you guys are going to submit your lesson preps to Jenica for that day, so put those in her Dropbox. Uh, still same students fifth grade is from Highlands and after you teach the morning lesson we'll have the Eco Jeopardy which Kate will lead and then after lunch we'll have Jenica give you guys some training in the cooperative compass lesson so you're comfortable with it because it's a very fairly popular one that we do quite a bit so you'll get a chance to see that so that is the way the week is going to work um, your goal for this week is going to be to create um, a creative introduction or grabber so that might be sharing some personal story, um, coming up with some interesting questions that inspire learning. Maybe you have a different activity from something that you learned in the past that you want to do. Uh, but that's what I want you to focus on for your personal goal if you're doing a lesson prep. I would also want to mention, just refocus again, that our drivers on Tuesday hope you're going to drive. On Wednesday, Jesse will drive in the morning, and Amy will meet the other staff, Jenica and Kate, for the evening program. Marie, why don't you drive on Thursday morning, and then Hope will meet you and Jesse with a different vehicle in the evening. And then Devin, I want you to drive Emily out on Friday. I think that's about it. Fifth grade is a great group to work with. Highlands is an excellent school to work with, so um, I 
don't have any major concerns. I do have um, some notes I'll give you when they arrive about, you know, there's some students with some severe allergies, some that are going to be on the autism spectrum. Oh, I will mention, though, that they do have a, a gifted and charter, a gifted, um, a gifted program at the Highland School. It's a special program. I think they're called the Odyssey Charter School, and they'll be bringing those students out on the first trip, trip one, which is Wednesday to Thursday. So some of you might get a chance to work with some students that are slightly more gifted on the Wednesday, Thursday groups. I don't know which group they'll be in, but you may notice that because they sometimes, you know, ask more questions or may ask more challenging questions. Uh, I'll give you details on that when you come in next week. Have a good day.